What's going on guys? This is Nate from the Scrub Academy coming you to our next tech profile here on the channel. Today I've got Luna here with the Labyrinth and we're gonna jump right on into it. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with Cringe, uh, 3D Shifter. Uh, it's easy to format. Uh, you gotta play it, yeah. And while this deck has a lot of really good grave strategies and a lot of really powerful recursion in archetype, uh, a Shizu tier. And so you'd rather win the game, and oh sorry, you, should, you would rather have a chance to win the game than have your awesome cool advantage engines, so. How often do, do you open it? Opened it once. Once? once okay, today. so you gotta play six of them. Yeah, All right. I, uh, <laughs> I drew it once off Extravagance, it wasn't very fun. Uh, and then Labyrinth Monsters. We have... Three of the Stratos, she switches a Labyrinth other than herself when she's normal summoned, and she technically has another effect that like lets you draw cards when you pull stuff up, but that doesn't happen very much. Three of the reason why the deck is broken. Uh, Late, uh, Lady Labyrinth says, basically, if you have a set card, your opponent can't target it or destroy it with card effects. Uh, you can summon it from your hand as a quick effect, and during any turn that a Labyrinth or Normal Trap has been activated on either side of the field. So just if you've done the played the game, summon for free uh, in defense, and then the third effect is why this card is just absolutely insane. You can chain to any normal trap, kind of like a Paleozoic or Thunder Dragon Titan, and set any other normal trap that is not that one. So if I, if you flip Imperm, I get to set any other normal trap in the game. I can, All set, right. I can set Adhesion Trap Hole. It's crazy. Uh, when It's just really good because it tutors for anything. It doesn't have a cost. It just says chain, so it just gives you a trap every turn, and then you flip that trap and set another, and then you flip that trap and set another. And you can also flip them the turn that you do it with cards like Ku Clock, which uh, you can discard to activate a trap the turn it was set if you control Labyrinth. Uh, I'm only playing two of the furniture because D-Shifter uh, is in the deck and these can't recur into D-Shifter, and also everybody plays by steals, and I don't want to give people targets for mm. by steals, so just don't play that many of these. Uh, this one just lets you set your Labyrinth Spell Traps from deck as a quick effect. Uh, it's just there as a one of in certain situations where usually it's just if you want to get Ku Clock back, but uh, I mean, I'm only playing this one because this one has the better effect, which it comes back in a special summon, so it's a 2,000 booty. And then the other boss monster, your opponent can't respond to your traps with monsters. Uh, you can set a normal trap every turn forever on your turn, although you have to have a fiend to flip it, which obviously not a big deal. And more importantly, if you remove a monster with a normal trap, which is the whole deck's gimmick, is getting rid of your or getting rid of monsters with a normal trap, you can destroy any card in your opponent's field or a random card in their hand, non-targeting. So I think I played against Hero, and in game one I had the thing where I get to do traps on turn one, and I blew up my own Ariana with Welcome, and then ripped a card out of their hand on turn one which is just crazy. And there's also plenty of times where they draw their card for turn and I just immediately blow up my own monster, get rid of the card to their hand, they don't get to play it, it's nuts. Uh, Sounds pretty good. That's all the monsters. We're a trap deck, so we don't play very many spells. I like to draw two cards. Our extra deck does kind of matter for punishment, but, you know, it's not like I lost a game because I banished all my punishment targets today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wait, I didn't. Uh, the Labyrinth Field spell, which lets you recur fiends and gives your welcome Labyrinth the ability to destroy, which means your advantage generation engine also blows up their stuff, which is good. Necro Valley, because it's a metaverse target, play metaverse. Tier Element, Tier Element, uh, Tier Element, and then Tier Element, yeah. <laughs> and Call by the Grave, because Tier Elements. And then the, the spice, the, 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 the G word that we don't mention around here, uh, Temple of the Kings. All right, it explain says, it. You can activate one trap the turn it was set, every turn. Second effect, doesn't matter. All it does is say, we can set our traps and immediately flip them, which is really good, because uh, that turns Lady's tutor effect into a fast tutor. It turns into a trap trick for free every turn. Usually if you just set a trap with her, it's like, okay. But now I set a trap with her and then I flip it. So you get to play a whole bunch of crazy one of traps that are silver bullets for whatever matchup or whatever happens to be on the field. And then we just immediately flip it, which is silly. <laughs> it also sometimes can help you go second. You can like flip it, play it, flip a punishment, compulse, get rid of their opponent's monsters. It's cool. Uh, trap cards. Uh, the only actual, uh, other than the field spell, the only Labyrinth trap we play, or spell trap. Summon a Labyrinth from deck when you flip it. Kind of the only one you need, though. So. Yeah. Uh, the other ones are okay, but there's not really much room for them, especially... I like setup to recycle, but it's really hard to recycle when your opponent just chains Keldo. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, also has the second effect to get itself back when you get rid of stuff with trap, which is cool. Uh, it's good. You have to play three of it. Uh, fun cards. You know, you, technically this deck is cool because you don't play like floodgate effects, like skill drain rivalry, all that stuff, usually because we want to play normal traps and mm -hmm. remove our opponent's monsters because that's the deck's gimmick. But we got to play this because 
format's broken, Yu-Gi-Oh's not fair, and this is a normal trap, so we can use that level 8 boss to just set it back to the field and return forever. It's like having a trap trick that you can just get forever. Yeah, I, I played against Hero, and one of the, I, I debated him three turns in a row, he, and then also against uh, the Brandon player. They just, they only play fusions, they can't summon fusions every turn, I win. Like, it is, I, nothing else I do matters, all that matters is I debated them every turn forever. Yeah, if you did that to me, we wouldn't have a footage of that duel, because I probably would have flipped the table. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, car traps that remove stuff. So these are the ones that I play multiple of. Punishment's good, because it's usually a two-for-one, and we also play a bunch of other fun targets, which I'll get to later. Uh, I'm only playing two, just because it's a hard ones per turn, and drawing two of hard ones per turn sucks. Compulse is good, because it's non-destruction removal, and it's not doesn't have hard ones per turn. Though you have to side this out against tier, fun fact, because if you return a tier limit fusion to the, to the extra deck, it recounts, it's, the field spell says, uh, into the deck, or return to the extra deck. So if you bounce Rokalos with this, their field spell triggers, and they blow up your cards. That's what We don't talk about tier elements around here. Uh, Metaverse, speaking of tier elements, it gets Necro Valley. That's it. It also used to get Mystic Lord, but that card's banned. Uh, I probably put this down to one, just because it's so tutorable and I want to have other options. Mm -hmm. Like, two's nice, but we only play two field spells, so, yeah. How many cards in the main deck? Forty. Forty. Uh, and a whole bunch of one-ups. So Trap Trick is pretty obvious, it's Trap Trick gets you all your multiples, and then we have four actual one-offs, which is, uh, in order of weirdness, we're gonna go, well, uh, Archmean's Ghastly Glitch. Uh, basically, you have to control Fiend, you blow up any card in the field, and then uh, Foolish for any Fiend. Which is good, because it gets rid of anything, but it's bad because you Foolish a Fiend in a format where you're playing all darks in a format with Keldo and Magdalene. So, it's mostly just there because it says get rid of anything. Uh, I pray they don't have the best deal. Yeah, and I do side one backjack, which is nice. Uh, Eradicator. Wins games. It's Eradicator. I lost my first round because I made the gut call about hitting traps with this against Access of Stern, didn't have any, but usually against half the decks of the game, you just like call spell, they lose, so really good. Uh, and the big loss is just an easy target for it, because you could just tutor, if you have Temple, you tutor this after you use a trap, and then you immediately tribute your big lady. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, this cool new TZD thing that came out in Dabble, it just it, it puts everything face down, and then if there are any face-up monsters, as I learned, the wording of this is, uh, they must send all face-up monsters they control to the graveyard. That is not a, this card doing it, it's a player action. So if they have Ultimate Falcon or the Igniter boss, they have to send it to the grave. Which means this card also outs Tower's effects, which this deck usually has a hard time with. I didn't realize that until somebody pointed it out to me. I'm probably going to play multiple of this card, just because it kind of sucks against all the fusion decks, but just putting everything face down makes things so much easier, because you don't have to worry about Rokalos, all their tier limits are turned off because there's not a tier limit monster on the board. Like, it's just crazy. I, I might, I probably might play three of this, especially since it's not a hard one's return. It's crazy. Uh, and then this one, basically it says target a card in the field in the grave, you send the field to the grave, and then you set the one back from grave. So it is grave hate and removal in the same thing. It's not that great against tier, because they can, in theory, you get rid of their tier limit from the grave, but you can fuse face down, so they just shuffle it back anyways. But it's still really good against everything else, and it's non destructive removal, so it's a nice one of. Uh, 40 in the main, extra deck, mostly doesn't matter, but, you know, punishment targets. Entis, because it's Entis. Garura, because it draws a card. Wind Pegasus, because if they get rid of your stuff, you shuffle things. This one, uh, I talked to somebody when I was judging the remote extra, or the remote ICS. I saw a really interesting Labyrinth player who was playing this, and he explained it to me. If you use Punishment to blow up Kit Kalos and send this, or sorry, if you, so say they have a, any monster on board, they activate a tier in grave. You chain Punishment, send this to blow up the thing on the field, and they summon Kit Kalos. So their turn player, they use Kit Kalos to chain link one, this triggers in the grave, you target it, and it says when it's sent to the grave, target any face up card in the field and negate it. So you get to negate the Kikalos off of your punishment. When the, and usually Entis sucks against them because everything floats. You don't mm -hmm. want to blow up their stuff. But this just negates their stuff, which is crazy, actually. Uh, it didn't come up today, but definitely a thing to play is this it doesn't matter much. Uh, last top target, it has 5,000 attack. Punishment needs big attacks. So, mm -hmm. You know, they happen to have like a 4,300 uh, attack this code or something. Uh, and then one of this technically for back tackle, although I only play one now, so I'll probably just cut that. Muckraker, because we're playing a fiend deck, doesn't really come up though. Honor World Goddess, because technically this thing is also an out to Towers Monsters, but you know, it's a fiend and our welcome locks us to fiends, so it's an option, as is this. 
which technically could come up turn one uh, somewhat often if you really tried hard, because you could like, oh my Ariana, football come on turn one, make this. I probably need, I need to see if that's better. I need to like practice summoning this turn one. Boots is really good right now. And then, we're play, fun fact, we're playing Way the Dragon in the side. Targets. It hasn't come up yet, but. When it, when it does, we'll see some sadness, that's for oh, sure. Oh, buddy, I, I sure do love summoning Last Warrior, and then my opponent reads it and goes, oh. <laughs> All right, well, that's we're over. <laughs> uh, side deck cards. Uh, going second as a trap deck sucks, so we play cards that get rid of all their stuff. This is really good against combo decks. This is good against decks that put, don't put up Omni Gates and against like trap decks and stuff. Uh, evenly was really good today, as was Lava Golem. Uh, a single, another single target to get off of Lady is Full Force Virus. Sure, but a, big, a dark with a lot of defense, and then you do the virus thing where you pull up other stuff for multiple turns, and it gets rid of all monsters with 15 or less defense, which is really good against like all of the good not tier limit decks. It kind of sucks against tier unless you have another floodgate, because while a lot of them have low defense, they'll trigger. Yeah. But against like it's, it's still decent against them, especially if you like tutor uh, different dimension god or something, because you can. Uh, Use that or like Necro Valley to turn off the grave, and then just okay, I blow up all your monsters. They don't trigger. No, like, put up a flag and it's really good against like uh, Sprite, Extra Sister. Pretty much, there's not really decks with a lot of high defense right now, so it's pretty good. Uh, two of this, I'm probably just gonna play one as some bit of tutor off of Lady or a Trap Deck. So, you know, we could tutor that, so it's really good, and our strike doesn't matter. Uh, this card. Tier limit. Did I mention tier limit? Tier, tier limit. Is that what that's for? Okay. Yes. Tier limit. Yeah. I, tier, that tier limit deck sure is pretty decent. So I like to say, okay, you you're gonna mill ten, you're gonna banish ten. Cool. <laughs> and it hits a lot of decks too because everything kind of revolves around the graveyard right now. It's almost like every deck in the last two years has revolved around the graveyard and is light or dark. That's <sighs> funny coincidence. Uh, three judgment because we're a trap deck. I lost a time because of this card today, but. And you, you know, even sat on the side of the table where you can see the clock. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just, you gotta play it, you know? Like, we have a lot of ways to deal with a lot of things, like we can EV for spells and stuff, but like, if we don't have a way to stop like evenly, we just lose to evenly, so you just kinda have to play it. Mostly just because of evenly. Uh, and then the one back check for, I didn't know what else to put in for a 15th card, so I thought, well, if I'm taking out my shifters and stuff and playing like a non buy steel matchup, I could decide this in as a fiend to send off of like Ghastly and stuff. And also, if I play against a Shizu Deer, I'll put it in just because there's the chance they mill it and then I get some value out of it. They'll probably just shuffle in response, but like, maybe I'll somehow flip something off it. And uh, that's it. Dex felt good. Probably gonna make some slight changes, but it's fun. It's very fun. All right. Well, thank you, Luna, for bringing us your Labyrinth deck. If you guys did enjoy today's deck profile, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell on the way out the door because all your support is greatly appreciated. Make sure to stay tuned. Later on this week, we will have some live duels so you can see this deck in action, so you can see how it works. That's all I've got for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Nathan the Scream Academy, signing up for now. Peace out.